my beautiful viewers. Um, this is Layla. I am shooting with my telephone today. I don't know if this is working or not. I am by the fireplace. It's kind of cold tonight. So um, I wanted to just um, talk briefly about uh, my progress with the keto diet. I think I am a month and a half in. Probably three weeks and two weeks. That's about almost a month and a half. And I'm feeling good. I've had ups and downs, but overall it's been great. Um, I've never thought that I would be doing it for this long because I'm usually, you know, I start something and then if my body doesn't feel right, I just leave it because I don't want to hurt my body. I can listen to myself and I have many times recognized that something doesn't work for me and then people are like, oh, you quit too fast. That's not, that has nothing to do with it. Simply, I cannot force my body to do something beyond what it wants. This is probably the first time that I feel like, you know, um, this, it was going to be a diet that I was going to try. And I did try it, like I said, in one of my previous videos for like, um, uh, maybe for like three days and I failed and not failed, but like I couldn't sustain it. But this is, this was supposed to be just a little attempt to try again. And I didn't expect it to work this well. So that's why I, I even didn't start logging, um, my, um, progress until like week three, I think I was 14, 15 days into the diet. And then I realized that this is worth blogging about, you know? That's why I um, started this YouTube channel. So I do give health um, advice and things like that because I don't think I, I, I want my channel to be only about the ketogenic diet. First of all, because just calling it ketogenic diet, it's not fair to it because I think humans don't need carbs. And you can live perfectly without carbs just by eating a little protein and a lot of fat. You can actually live an optimal lifestyle, which means you will thrive and you will be super healthy. And your body would be like at peak performance. So we eat carbs because they're readily available. They're being sold to us everywhere. I didn't know that carbs weren't necessary. You know, there are certain things that are very necessary for the human being. And uh, one of them is not carbs. <laughs> so you need your protein, of course, too. those are the building blocks. And you need your fat as energy. Energy and um, uh, I will talk about hormones and fat in uh, one of my future videos. So those are the necessary um, nutrients that you need. And of course, minerals, uh, vitamins and things like that that come come with, from the greens and things like that. The greens have a little bit of carbs, so they're fine. Um, so what I was saying is that I started um, vlogging around day 15, I think, or day 18. I was feeling so good and I didn't believe that this was working so well. And I'm like, wow, this is worth <laughs> putting it on video and sharing it with the world. Because I felt like I found the probably the fountain of health, of youth, whatever you want to name it. And uh, I wanted everyone to follow my journey and um, see my ups and downs. So this, uh, we are in the end of the year, the holiday season in the uh, United States. A lot of food, a lot of eating. I've been trying to keep it. Uh, no carbs, just uh, vegetables uh, and um, protein. I might have gone over my 20 grams. I'm, I'm doing probably more actually, 30 to 40 grams of uh of um, carbohydrates a day and um, of uh, vegetables. Sometimes I do little crackers here and there, low carb crackers. You know, I'm trying to be flexible with my body and not very uh, stringent with it because I um, want this to last a long, long time and uh, be the way I eat uh, officially. And uh, also, uh, what I've gone over my protein sometimes, and I've gone over my fat sometimes. But within the limit of what I can do, I've tried to keep it, uh, you know, healthy and uh, 
within the parameters of the keto diet. I do have to find a different way to test for being in ketosis because I've been using the keto sticks and I know that they're not very, um, uh, like they're not, they're not the best way to tell if you're in ketosis because eventually once you're in ketosis, you don't, you know, th th there will be no excess ketones coming out of your urine. So you have to test it with the blood, I think. I will find a way and I will do a vlog about that as well. And what else, what else? I just wanted to um, also say that um, it's been a wonderful journey. I, uh, I didn't expect it to last this long and be the permanent way I'm going to be eating for a lifetime. I love it. I feel much more um, calm. I think, uh, like I said in uh, my previous videos, it does something to your brain. And it's uh, something miraculous. Your brain feels good, feels um, like uh, stable, feels your thoughts are more, uh, there's uh, also less negative thinking. Uh, I think it should help with depression. If someone is suffering from anxiety, depression, things like that, it's got to help because it gives you this certain calmness that I haven't experienced with any other um, way of eating. Uh, also, I'm going to do a lot of videos. I have tons of ideas. Today, my camera, my other camera charger, I left it behind in another place and I couldn't go and get it. It was too late in the day, so I decided to do this uh, video with my phone. I hope it comes out well. And uh, I hear I have my little fireplace. I love to put the fire on at night. I don't use heating. I try to keep it all natural because... I know it's better for your health, so what I do is I wear a sweater, like, you know, I cover myself, and then I try to just uh, do the fireplace and also do, like, candles and little things like that in winter to warm me up. Mm, I used to use a lot of uh, uh, heating and AC, and, and it does contribute to me getting sick, so I don't do it anymore. Because, uh, you know, if you change too much, you adapt too much the temperature of your house and your environment, your car, to what you want, then you come out of there and then the changes of temperature kind of drain the body's energy to readapt. And that if you don't have a strong immunity, you will get sick. So it, when the body is trying to keep a certain temperature and uh, you give it the artificial heating or cooling, what happens is it tries to adapt once you get out of the car or the house and it drains the energy and it makes it very hard for the immune system. That's why we get sick. So that's pretty much it for today. I will uh, hopefully retrieve my charger tomorrow and I'll make another video. I have a lot of things to, to talk about. I have a huge list. So uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe and uh, leave me your comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope uh, you're staying warm for the winter. Take care. Bye.